Uh, let's set it off. Wishing you a wonderful weekend. Where you at? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you in the world, my great people? Where are you in the world? Okay. So life and uh, feel free to type in your questions. What do you need clarity on? What do you need help with? What's What needs to improve in your life? So where can I help you in your life? People, come on in. Come on in. Life, business, what do you need help with? Or is everything smooth and everything smooth? No issues. Okay, what's up, JR? Shout out to my man JR in the building. Good seeing you again, JR. What are you working on, JR? What do you need help with? What do you need help with? And don't be shy. Everyone got something. Everyone got something. Don't be shy. Okay, so let's set it off. Frequently asked questions. Okay, this is a good one. What holds people back? What? Let, let, let me ask you guys this one. What do you think holds people back? Well, the first thing that comes to mind when I think of people being held back or holding themselves back is arrogance. A lot of people who aren't where they want to be are very arrogant. A lot of people who aren't where they want to be are very arrogant. Now, you need a healthy amount of ego to help you overcome whatever you got going on, right? You got to be able to have a warrior spirit in life, skip the past, skip the mess ups, skip the failed relationships, skip, skip that. I need to get where I got to get. But arrogance, when arrogance sets in, you don't see what you're doing wrong. <clears throat> I need a soundboard. When arrogance sets in, guys, you don't see what you're doing wrong. So when with people who aren't where they want to be, uh, even sometimes when they pay me for coaching sessions and when we over stuff, they sometimes they ignore what I say. I'm like, do you want to do this on your own? Like, no, no, no. Like, yo, follow my script. So in life, guys, you have to know when to submit. You have to know when to submit to somebody else's system. Everyone got that? In life, you have to know when to submit to someone else's system if your system isn't working. You're overweight, your system isn't working. You're single, but 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 you, you, you want to be in a relationship, your system isn't working. Um, Financially and not making progress, your system isn't working. Submit, no one to submit to another person's system. All right, JR says, I'm just starting out through the notary course now. My stamp should be in touch. All right, JR, congrats, congrats, JR. Which course are you in? Which course are you in? Uh, Keg Edits, what's up, Keg? How do I get over my fear of moving out of a small town? Oh, I have a video on that. I'm going to try to find it. I'm starting to grow my business, but no one might no like wanting people there. A lot of people have that fear. So if you stay in your hometown, what happens? You're going to feel like a loser. And can I, can I, I don't know if you met, met me before, but I'm really direct and to the point. But if you stay there, you will feel like a loser. People are in high school. Your same high school buddies are, are going to still be talking about high school still be talking about old stuff. And you're like, man, I'm a new guy. I'm on some new stuff. So just go. Don't think much. In life, when you think it's over, I know it sounds weird. In life, when you think it's over, once you start thinking a lot, it's a wrap. So just go. So get get enough money to leave and go. Um, where are you going to go to? Where are you going to go to? But 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 I wish you luck and good and success on your journey, K. Okay. So and uh, the more questions, when the more questions come up, guys, just type it in the chat. It could be about life, business, whatever. Good question, K. Let's do it. So what holds people back? Arrogance. 
Florida, Texas, AZ. Where in Florida, where in Texas, where in AZ? Pick a city. Pick a city. Um, and, that, and don't type in all caps. Pick a city, don't type in all caps. And give me the date you'll be moving. I've hardly ever heard anyone ever say in life that they regretted moving out of their hometown. I have hardly ever heard anybody, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone say in life that they regretted leaving their hometown. All right. So what holds people back? That's thing that holds people back is doing things their way, which is a kind of a correlation of, of arrogance. So doing things your way. If your way has failed, guys, own it. Own it. Hey, the way that I think isn't working. I need to change the way I think. Change it. If the way you're thinking isn't working, yo, be prepared to throw away your brain. Be prepared to throw away your brain. People love their brains. We love the way we do things, which is why a lot of people say, this is who I am. This is what I do. Battery. It's not plugged on. This is who I am. This is what I do. This is this is the way I roll. No, no, change around your life. Throw away your brain. JR, yeah, loan signing, self-employed, course, nationwide. All right, good stuff, JR. Yeah. Um, you probably need the sign and sit with confidence. Uh, I'll put the link in there for, for that. Sign and sit with confidence and the fingerprinting are probably your next steps. But um, great stuff. Thanks for rolling. Okay? Throw away your brain. If, it, if what you're doing isn't working, throw your brain away, fam. People get so stuck on who we used to be, how we used to think. F all that. It ain't working. Scrap it. Start fresh. Scrap it and start fresh. Okay. Next. Uh, sales. Yo, people are definitely afraid of embarrassment. I didn't know this. But people are definitely afraid of embarrassment to the point people would rather sit in their comfort of mediocrity than going for things because it's embarrassing what if and when they say no yo your fear of embarrassment as an adult person you you allowing that to stop you from getting to money is absolutely insane and and you should be embarrassed your fear of embarrassment um okay um, jr here goes the finger here goes the, i mean the sign of stamp jr and anybody else who needs to know how to notarize documents, hit link in the chat. Uh, your fear of embarrassment, you allowing your fear of embarrassment overcome your pursuit of income is insane. You're an adult. And a lot of you guys are men. It means nothing when people tell you, it literally, yo, you need to become so numb you forget about it. I was watching a channel and um, there were guys who haven't approached a woman in years. They haven't approached a woman in years. Like, you have, they just haven't approached a woman. I'm like, yo, you're just going to not approach chicks? They just stopped. They, they gave up. You need to ignite something in you where you are permanently pissed off of, of your lack of progress. And especially your lack of trying. Like, nothing. No effort. Nothing. This, this, this is who I am. Scratch it. Find something in you to be ticked off to where I'm going to overcome this. No, your rejection means nothing. We hold such a high weight for rejection and hold it. We hold rejection on the stupid ass pedestal. It means nothing. Let's keep it going. How do you get sales? So some of you guys get success and you stop. You stop. You think people will remember you. People won't forget about you. They'll call you again. Call people. Call people. Text them. Email them who, who hired you before. Hey, I worked with you in December of 2021. Just seeing if you have any more XYZ. Call them. X, email them. Text them. Oh, Dre, I don't want to be annoying. You don't want money. Look, if you don't want to go after it, just continue the nine to five gig. Buy some stocks and keep it pushing. There's nothing wrong with that. That might actually make you more money. But but if you say that you're going after business, that you are now in business, yo, you got to drop every ounce of 
your old way of thinking. This is a whole new way of life for you. Get to the money. Call these people. You literally have their phone numbers. You know where they live. You know their email address. You know how to contact them on social media, and you aren't reaching out. They already paid you. It's easier and cheaper to keep clients who already work, who you already work with than to get new clients. Go after past clients. How do you get sales? Ask for the sale. Here's how. Hey guys, I have a sign and set with confidence. Uh, hey guys, happy Friday to you. Andre Action here. I put together this wildly crazy 46 hour training showing you guys have notarized documents from loan closings to wills to power of attorneys, affidavits, pricing, uh, cold calling scripts, answering the phone scripts. It's really fire. Over 95% of people who purchased it fell in love with it. We've sold over, damn. 950 of them <laughs> as of now. Push it away to 1,000. The link is in the chat to buy it. It's just $100 lifetime access. 100 bucks lifetime access. If you need help, notarize some documents, grab it today. It's yours, lifetime access. Bam. You see that? 20 seconds. That was me asking for the sale. That's it. I asked for the sale. Someone needs it. I know it's successful. I asked for the sale. What do you sell? So, so JR, um, you, you'll have your stamp in 10, in 10 days. What are you going to be doing? Like, why wait the 10 days? Start working on getting clients now. All right. Next frequently asked question and response. How do you make money? Oh, we've got this one. How do you make money? Drag, drag, drag. I want to make money. I want to make money. All right, cool. What are you, well, first of all, do you need to make money or, or do you want to make more money? Because some people are, are in a needs position. Some people are in a, I'm bored. I want to increase my life position. Okay, cool. If you need to make money, I'm always going to tell you to do something needed, especially if you're a guy. Men being broke sucks. Yeah, yeah, woman too, of course, but men being broke really sucks because, because no one comes to save you if you're a guy. The world has no pity on a broke guy. The world has no pity on, a, pity on a broke guy, especially over 25. No pity. They're going to say, man, you, you, you should have figured it out. Now, if you need money, do something needed. So what would I do? Mobile notary, maybe DNA, paternity testing business, home cleaning business where I outsource house cleaners, medical courier, Power washing houses. I'm not sure how popular that is, though, in the wintertime in certain climates. Mobile detailing. Not sure how popular that is in certain climates and certain times of the year. Maybe if you're in a Arizona, Florida, Texas kind of thing. But um, something needed. Stop trying to figure out life broke. If you're a guy, it just sucks. Do something needed. That's why... What do you think? Oh, excuse me. What do you think? What do you think? And I'm still doing the the notary stuff because people still need it because still get messages every day. So I have an inner circle. I don't know if any of you guys are interested. I have an inner circle with people who I work with more intensively, and we talk a couple times a week. We it's basically hiring me to be on top of you for three months, right? And one of the guys in my inner circle, he made $850 yesterday. $850 yesterday. His first day making so much, he says his next his next uh, step is $1,000 a day, right? So it's not cheap, but he made the money. He made damn near all the money back or half the money back in one day worth of work. Now, people like to do trendy stuff, especially but. People in the black in our black community. We'll have to do trendy stuff. Trendy, trendy, trendy. So trendy stuff is cool when you have the money for it. But trying to start a podcast and make it profitable out the gate but with no money, it could work. And for someone, it's gonna work. But if I had to bet, if I had fifteen hundred dollars and I said, okay, I can get a camera, webcam, computer, tripod, ring light, or Or I can start a, start a notary business and make $800 in one day. 
I'm going to go with the notary. Now, when I start making money, then on the side, cool, I can do my fun stuff. I can do my podcasting. I, I can do all that fun stuff then. But stop trying to get money from stuff that has such a low barrier of entry, such a low success rate when you need the money. It's just too stressful. It's literally, guys, too stressful. Don't put that kind of stress on yourself when you don't need to, especially if you're over 25. You, you're on 25. You live with your folks. Okay, cool. You have a few years to figure it out and to not have society look at you as a loser. You got a few years, but literally, you got a few years. This isn't like a long threshold here. You need to come up with this thing and get this thing cracking. Okay? So that's my advice. You need money, do what's needed. You have excess money, your 401k is doing good, Roth IRA, you got real estate. Okay. You have a couple of years to play around with different industries. You can you can play around and experiment. But know where you are in life. And people are lying to you. People are lying. They don't want to hurt your feelings, but behind your back, they're going to call you a loser. And they're going to not want to hang out with you. Get to the money. Everyone got that? Get to the money. Do the fun shit later. It, and it's time for it right now. Uh, life advice. People, people lack about relationship all the time. Who do you marry? Who do you date? Real simple. Pick who likes you the most. You're a guy. You want to date a woman. You're you're a more more of a relationship kind of guy. Whether it be marriage or just looking a relationship, cool. Do whatever works for you. Um, pick the woman. So you're dating two women. One of them you're into a nine. I don't think a man should ever be into a woman a 10 out of 10. I just think that's dangerous. But a strong nine, you're really into her. She's into you, strong six. Strong six, it's enough there. You're dating another woman who you're into, strong six. Uh, but she's into you, eight or nine. Who do you pick? Men, we're arrogant, or most men are arrogant. So we pick what we want rather than who wants us. Life is just too hard dating somebody who isn't into you like that. People say pick, make sure that make sure she likes you more, make sure he likes you more. That's, that's kind of juvenile, like, like we're adults. They just have to be into you enough to where you feel it and you are into them enough where they feel it. But trying to chase and make someone like you, that's just too much work. So that's my relationship advice. Pick who picks you, who you're into enough, rock out. Um, this is not the time to be going over 50-50 and all these silly conversations, fam. Um, jobs are being eliminated. How, housing prices aren't going down. Artificial intelligence is going to wipe out. So they are understating how many jobs AI will take. And oftentimes us as Black people are always behind with certain shit. Uh, get into a relationship, have an agreement, split whatever you guys got to split, invest together, and go make it work. This is not the time to be on the internet complaining about nonsense. Jobs are going, fam. Let's let's get serious. Uh, clients, what holds people back? Oh, you people ask me how to make money online a lot. People ask how to make money online. Obviously, I make money online. Um, most people, I don't think all. Not about most. Many people have, are better at something than somebody that they could be, and they could be getting paid for teaching or selling the thing. So, how do you make money? What are people currently asking you to do for free that you could be charging for? What are people currently asking you to do? You're doing it for free, but you could be charging for it. Just real simple. Look in your text message. Look um, in your DMs, text message, phone, voicemail, emails. What do people ask you to do? It might be cook. It might be organizing the house. It might be paint, getting this house painted. Uh, for me, it's notary. So I started the notary business because I had people asking me all the time, how do I do this? How do I do this? And I was showing people, and I said, I was in a car accident, so I couldn't really run my business like I used to. I said, man, I need, I need to lose, I need to use my head more and body less. So I said, all right, 
let me put this thing to use. And here we are nine years going on 10 years later. So I had something I was better at than a lot of people. I went hard at the thing. I've had great success from it. Then I started teaching it. People sleep on themselves. People sleep on themselves. A lot of people who lack sales and who undercharge actually have more of a confidence issue than a business issue. I'll say it again. A lot of people who lack confidence and undercharge in sales have more of a confidence issue than a business issue. Most people have a confidence issue, which is why they undercharge, then they go out of business, then they get bad customers, then they get frustrated, then they quit. Rather than being a premium person who attracts premium people, better quality clients, you can live a better quality of life, less frustration and rock out. Now, it still work, but very few businesses can survive being the cheapest. Possible. I mean, like Walmart's rich, right, and wealthy. Possible. But the likelihood of you going out of business when you're too cheap, it, it, it could easily backfire, right? Uh, life, business, what hold people back? Sales, money. Um, money. Be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do and not willing to do. If you know that you are not willing to work after work, don't start a business. What I would do, stock market and real estate. What I would do if I knew that I didn't want to work after work, most people have jobs, right? Either you work overnight, you work 12 to late, you work eight to four, nine to five, whatever, whatever. When you want to own a business, you have to work before work and after work, sometimes during work on the low and weekends. If you know you're not built for that, invest. There's no shame in not being a good entrepreneur. There's no shame in not wanting to be an entrepreneur. But you don't want to be a wannapreneur. That's when someone fake wants it, not serious, doesn't take it serious, and they just are halfway in and out. Just be prepared to go all in. Stock market risky. You have no control over it. It is what it is. You're, you're basically betting that other companies will do good or do bad, depending on which kind of options or whatever trading you're doing. You're betting on other people's success or failure. I hate to put it like that, but that's what it is. Get that, get some real estate and rock out. But stop being in denial about your work ethic. You being in denial about your work ethic helps nobody. You being in denial about your lack of work ethic helps nobody. It's just a waste of time, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, questions, type them in the chat. Life, business, whatever, type in the chat. Oh, yeah. And about the moving, who asked this earlier? I remember a few years ago, a mobile notary was charging $20 for a power tire attorney. I told him to up his price, undercutting the market. Uh, undercutting the market, you got to get bad clients. Um, you get frustrated. I just don't feel good knowing that I'm charging the least. It, 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 it's just not good for the self-esteem. So Keg asked me earlier, how do I get over the fear? How do I get over the fear moving out of my small town? I'm starting to, starting to outgrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So in life, you only need to know the minimum to get started. You don't need to know the maximum. So Keg, let's say he wants to go to Austin, Texas. Okay. What's the minimum he needs for a room? Not even a apartment. What's the minimum he needs for a room? He has a car. Okay, great. But by license, he could always drive Lyft or Uber. Lyft or Uber and DoorDash is your safety net. You don't have friends, there are people everywhere. If you guys don't have friends, there are people everywhere. Get over your social anxiety, get over your fear of meeting people and talk to people. Go to events, sit at the bar, even if you don't drink, people will talk to you. Smell good, look good, say hi. Guys, fear is an illusion that you made up in your head. Fear is an illusion that you made up in your head and it's attached to your self-esteem. You have low self-esteem. This is why you fear everything. Once you start doing stuff, you will feel better. Well, what if you don't meet people? People who don't have friends are people who don't want to have friends. People who don't have money are people who don't want to have money. It's, re it's real simple. 
once you figure out, okay, I, I need to, I need enough money to live for. Yeah, it could be really real. If most people are broke anyway in their hometown, they have to they have to stay where they need to have this large amount of money saved up to move. But why not just be broke for a little while somewhere else? Why not just be broke for a little while somewhere else instead of you being broke at home? Shift up everything, bro. Shift it up. This this is the time for the shift up. So my advice, move. Apartment, room, go. Got a car? Great. Do lift while you search for uh, another job or another opportunity. But don't wait. Do not wait for perfection. It is a myth. Perfection is a myth. Uh, what else do I have here? Clients or host people back online sales. Um, oh, I have a book. Can I get so for anybody who hasn't doesn't know, I have a book, an ebook. New ebook, new ebook. Uh some people like guides and colors and graphics and words. So I put it together an ebook for my notary friends. You can grab it here. That's $22. It is show you guys how to get started in the notary game. Everyone has liked it. Who has purchased it? 22 bucks. Let's get you to that 2 through 12K a month. Link in the chat for the book. What do you do when you don't know what to do? You do what someone else recommended who knows what they're doing. That's it. You don't know what to do. Do what someone else recommended who knows what they're doing. Be careful who you take advice from, but you need advice from somebody. The best advice sometimes comes from strangers. Because when people know you well, sometimes they will put their fears and limitations on you. Now you're stuck with their fears. You're like, well, she did say this. So with Keg who wants to move, May, like you might get robbed. You might get robbed in your hometown. I hope you don't get robbed. I hope nobody gets robbed, but that could happen here. You might not get a job. Well, if you don't have a job where you live, what, what does that mean? Or it might take you a while to get a job. Drive the DoorDash. What if, what if, what if? What if what? What if what? Yo, these what ifs can kill you, your self-esteem. These what ifs, because everybody, ha people, yo, this, people love for people to stay who they used to be out of fear, out of comfort. Shake up the comfort and be great. Why don't you just try to be great? I was talking to somebody and he hired a coach. He's doing well. Let's say he makes $600,000 a year, give or take. But he hired a coach who he paid $10,000, $10,000 for three months. That's a good amount of money. The coach does a similar thing, but he makes a million dollars a month. So a million dollars a month, 600000 give or take or so in a year. He's going for the million dollars a month. He said he doesn't have the skills in his repertoire yet to achieve his goal on his own. So he went and got help for someone who's an expert. He listened to somebody. He hired somebody who's an expert to go after the goal. In life, what we try to do sometimes, guys, is we try to figure out stuff on our own. Uh, maybe lack of finances. Maybe we have it, but we're just cheap. Maybe ego mixed with arrogance. And we look two months, six months, 12 years later, like we didn't do anything because, because we we decided we're going to do this on our own. The worst thing you can do is if you aren't happy with your current life and you have the resources, try to figure it out on your own. It's a waste of time. 
people take pride in, yo, man, I don't need no coach. I don't need no coach. So I don't need a, I don't need a book. I'm going to figure it out. Okay. And, and, and let's even say you do figure it out. But you could have saved years. You could have saved years instead of coming off a, like a little bit of bread. You not having all the answers isn't every a ridicule. It's not, oh, my God, look at you. You don't have all the answers. No, no, no. It's you don't have enough, but you're self-aware to know you don't have enough. Then you get help to speed up the process to get there. You don't have enough. You find somebody who has it. You exchange the money for this for their time. Saves you six months, eighteen months, ten years, and you have a whole different life. Get no man's an island, and when you see men who say that, family, they they just enjoy wasting time. I ain't got time to waste. I just don't have the time to waste. I'm like, like, why am I? No. What's the fastest way for me to get there? What's the fastest way for me to get there ethically? I'm going that direction as long as I can afford it. That's it. Uh, where do I see people go wrong? Another, is that working? Where do I see people go wrong? Another place I see people go wrong often is they don't allocate the, they don't allocate enough time. Their allocation of time does not match their goals, plans, or habits. So their allocation of time does not match their goals, plans. It just doesn't line up. So hold on one second. Oh boy, okay. Boy, Jay. Um, so it's the end. Uh, I hate the end of the year because people are always on this New Year stuff, and I and I hate it. Not that I hate that they're focusing on the New Year. I hate the fact that they're focusing on the New Year when we are currently living today. I hate it. It's one of those things that really just annoys me, and I'm like, yo, why? We're focused on the future when you're alive right now. So if you have something, you know what? Let's just go old school. Pen and paper. If I can't find a pen, I'll use a Google Doc. All right. The plan is it's usually more money, a better or a relationship, grow spiritually, lose weight. Those are usually the things, right? It, it's a new year. People are on some new stuff. That's usually kind of the dynamics of the goals. Grow spiritually, lose weight, make more money, save more money, get into a relationship or, or improve the relationship. I don't really see people actively saying that, that they're going to be better parents. Parents think that they're the best parents in the world. So, so parents have big egos. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just stick with that. So instead of saying, okay, cool, this is this is it, the habits don't change. But the habits don't change because there's no detail on what the current habits are and what they're gonna be. Don't tell me your goals if you aren't telling me your habits. Oh, that's a good one. Don't tell me your goals if you aren't telling me your habits, your current bad habits your current good habits, and what you're willing to change. Everything you're wishing for or willing for is on the opposite side of what you're willing to do to change. What are you willing to do? 
what are you willing to do? So getting up earlier, going to bed later, less fat food. Uh, you want to meet more women approaching five a day. You want to meet a husband, be outside more, wear a dress. I know ladies don't like to approach men, but fuck it. Ain't got on the loose. You have to be so radically uncomfortable and so willing to shed the old philosophy that you were living by. It's insane. You literally have to shed sometimes, guys, 70 to 80 percent of your old way of thinking to have this better quality of life that you want so bad. You need to shed 70 to 80 percent of your old way of thinking oftentimes to get to this new quality of life. That's wild when you think about it, but that's what it takes. You got to shed. It's shedding. It's shedding. It's more shedding. But self-awareness will it is it is the start. I made a post earlier by Instagram about marketing, and I said, people can't see that their marketing sucks. Why? It's kind of like your child being a bad kid. Everyone's kid is bad, but yours. So everyone's kid is bad, but yours. Yeah, yeah, you might get fine. Your kids are bad. Your kids could be bad. Same thing with marketing. You don't have the sales. People aren't converting. People aren't buying from you. Your, your whatever you're selling, your hand lotion is better than XYZ, but XYZ has way better marketing, but you can't see it because it's yours. So we can't see because it's our baby. It's our baby, baby, baby. It's our baby, so we can't see it. So when you are trying, if you aren't getting sales, you aren't converting, your marketing sucks. That's it. You're not converting people. Or people don't see you enough. Either people don't see you enough or your, your marketing sucks. Um, but you try to fix it on your own, but you can't see the issue. So you can't fix what you don't see. Everyone hear me on that? Type it in the chat. T Y P. Type. You can't fix what you don't see. You need an outside pair of eyes to look at what you have going on and to assess it and help you correct it. You can't see what it. You can't see what you don't know is wrong, fam, and it's okay. But this one right here, once you embrace this one right here, life is automatically getting better. It's natural to think that we're doing things right. It's natural to think I can fix this. Oftentimes we can't. Surrender to someone else's system and way of thinking if yours isn't working. Shed it. Some of you guys are religious. All Bible say, man, you got to shed something. If it ain't everything, it's something. Same in business, same in sales, same with meeting people. You got to shed this thing. Get, get, get the wall painted by an expert. I'm not a, an expert painter. He is. All right, cool. Come, come paint it. If your goal is anywhere above, so you can hustle to 80K a year, 40, 30, one, even 120, anything above 250, everybody I know who makes over 250 a year in entrepreneurship and, and or investing, they have someone else's philosophy, not who they maybe took everything from, but maybe three or four people. Whose, whose way of thinking they adapted and added it into theirs. Most people did not have, have everything figured out. That's why we have books. That's why we have trainers, consultants, coaches. But trying to do everything your way when your goal is a million a year, a million a month, 250 a year, 250 a month, it's just going to take you too long. Th then you're going to get frustrated and say, man, I put in all these years. Well, you put in a lot of years, but you didn't put in a lot of hours and minutes in those years. So you've been at it five years on paper, but if you chop up your days, your minutes, and put it on an Excel spreadsheet or PowerPoint, you say, damn, like I, I, I really was half-assed in these past five years, bro. I took 30, 60 days seriously a year at max. Have you ever tracked your minutes? 
Have you ever sat down and tracked your minutes? Once you start doing these things, guys, everything's going to increase. Track your minutes. Where is your time going? Yes, the years are there, but where's the time at? Oh, Dre, no, no, no. Show, tell me. I've been single. Okay, who, who did you approach, man? I, I, I didn't approach nobody. I don't leave the house. I got rejected twice. You got rejected twice and then and, and, and at the night. No, no, twice last month. So, so twice last month, you got rejected. So you stopped? You got rejected twice last month. So you stopped. Whatever you are going after, when you are self-aware to know that you need help to get there, self-aware enough to know the way you used to think isn't good enough to get you to that new thing or new person, your life will improve. If you hold on to the old you, the old you isn't going to open the doors. The old you needs to be let go. On that note, guys, I'm going to go. I wish you a wonderful weekend. If you haven't already yet, grab the sign and stamp with confidence training. If you need to know how to notarize documents, it's here. I mean, you can't make money if you don't know how to notarize, right? You cannot make money if you do not have to notarize. Loan closings, wills, POAs, affidavits, all that stuff. Cold call scripts, how to answer the phone, how to price. This is a new portal, so we're moving everything over. We got about half of the stuff on there so far. The other half should be there the next week or so. Loan closings, POAs, wills, affidavits on the low end, $90 an appointment, which I don't charge that. Some people do higher end, $3,000. Um, my inner circle student yesterday, he did $850, $850. One of mine's another inner circle member. He has had a loan closing that just came in for a hundred dollars, hundred dollars loan closing. He literally just started three, maybe four weeks ago. He's doing the work every week. So if, you, if you're going to work with me one-on-one, um, I put the link in here for me to work with me one on one. It's intensive, but I'm on you. I'm on you. I'm going to make sure, as best of my ability, you follow through on what you need to follow through with. Have a great weekend. The weekend is a great time to reset things, reset your mind. Look, man, some of you guys do not need to be celebrating. Some of you guys need to cancel your weekend plan, sit back and focus, pop back out in November, pop back out in December, pop back out in January. Someone needs to hear this. Other of you guys have things in place. You're organized, paperwork's in place, things are smoothing, hit the gym this week, go, go rock out. But if you haven't earned the fun, I don't want to hear about the weekend. D, what up, D? Good seeing you again. If you haven't earned, if you haven't, yo, you got to earn the fun. You got to earn it. Self-awareness will set you free. Self-awareness will set you free. Um, another student, Malik, Malik, he uh, I'm crushing it with the fingerprinting. Man, fingerprinting, if, if, if you guys haven't launched your fingerprinting business yet, I highly recommend to do so. We uh we made the mum we made the me the membership. We do a live class every month and you have all our old all of our archive sessions. It's just 47 bucks a month, 500 for the year. Fingerprinting is great money. Got money with fingerprinting, two thousand dollar clients, eight hundred dollar clients, three fifty, paid it in advance. Guys, the money's out here. The money. Why do you think I had the business for 19 years? Like literally 19, it would be 20. So this year, actually, next week is my 20th year of being a homeowner. I've been a homeowner for 20 years. 20 years I've been a homeowner. Um, and then the year after that will be my 20th year as a business owner. So my early 20s, I got a lot of stuff done. My early 20s, I got a lot of stuff done. So I'm sharing it with you guys so you guys can do a couple of things. Learn from what I did wrong. 
and use what I did right. I want you to learn from what I did wrong and use what I did right. If anyone is, is, is in Atlanta and they want a one-on-one -on -one intensive workshop in person, you could be in any industry. I will help you fix your mind, elevate your way of thinking, get organized, get the fat out of your brain and get your ideas in action. In person and in Atlanta, we do it. That's all I got. Well, I wish you a wonderful rest of the day. Get to the money, get to the gym, get to juicing, get to the water, stop lying to yourself, approach people. If the goal is a relationship, leave the house, ask people on a date, wear cologne, wear perfume, wear a dress, wear a blazer if you're a guy, approach people. It's all a myth, bro. I'm telling you, everything you've been told, 80% of it is a myth. Fear, rejection, stagnation, they're all things that we accept as part of our reality. Our reality is what we make it. Now, you trying to change things tomorrow? Okay, that ain't it. You trying to cram three years into two months? That ain't it. But I wrote this book, which I, which I posted in the chat, right? My new ebook. Took time to write it. It took money to write it, but I don't ever have to write it again to make a sale. People want passive income when they've done nothing. Grab my book here, ebook, $22. Appreciate the support. The only shortcuts that actually work in life are these hiring. Someone to help you get it done, paying someone to do it for you. The only shortcuts that actually work in life, hiring somebody to help you get it done, paying someone to get it done. Everything, Every other shortcut you have heard about is a waste of time. And here's what it's going to do. Frustrate you, take you longer to get done, and you wind up wasting mad money. Embrace the long cut. It's not as fun. It ain't as sexy, but it works. I have a one-on-one -on -one client. We worked together this week. I gave him a list of things to work on two weeks ago. Came back. Had 80% of it done. We made progress. We had times. We had deadlines. We had dates. I'm sure that I annoyed the hell out of him, but he got it done. The 30% that he didn't get done... Uh, worked on it together and, and we got it done. Now he's going to sign up again for more coaching. Uh, look, it ain't cheap, but if he follows what I say, instead of hopping around, starting this, stopping that, he'll be held accountable and he'll be making the money back. The goal is if you pay me a thousand, two thousand, whatever, you be making that back in a couple of days, a couple of months at, at, at most. 850 yesterday. He said he hit me up. Dre, thank you. Best day yet. 850. Louis. Hundred dollars. Job. Came in already. Three weeks, four weeks in the game. It's not scientists to get, it's not rocket science to get ahead, but it's a lot of consistent action. A lot of people are actually too smart. When people are too smart, man, I can do this on my own. I got this. I'm going to watch YouTube. YouTube is a great place to start. Look, I'm on here right now. It's a great place to start. But it, 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 it's a great place to start. Very few people can finish with just YouTube. Whatever you need to get in your life to help you achieve this goal, get it. Personal trainers, help me get the weight off. I was going to the gym on my own. I wasn't seeing the results. I paid these guys. My legs and thighs were so sore after the first day. I I literally had a hard time moving for two to three days. So they had so I had skill sets, but I had enough self awareness. That's my man Anthony. He said, "Man, get a trainer." I got two to know that for me to get to the next level, it won't be on my own. 
Your next level of success is hardly ever on your own. Your next level of success you will hardly achieve on your own. Are you self-aware enough to know this and to know where to go? Damn, you dropping some jewels and needed to hear that. Yo, D, I'm on a roll, D. <laughs> D, D. I can't say with the blazer, D. I was like, man, I'm on a roll. And something told me that people need to hear not just business, but life. Life mixed with business. The good thing about being 42 is I've been around a lot. I've seen a lot. Did a lot of things right. Did a lot of things wrong. And I've spoken to so many people I just know what people need. So when people pay me and I sit with them, especially one-on-one, I'm able to help them get right pretty quickly because I've seen the same issue in a various form in 2,000 other people. So I have the expertise to fix your brain and your thought process relatively quickly based upon what I've done. So that's all I got. Buy the book, enroll the fingerprinting course, grab a sign of statement confidence. If you want one on one consulting, book me. See you guys later. Love y'all. Have a great day. Peace.